Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. While these kids are studying, new connections are being formed between their neurons through a process called long-term potentiation, or LTP. LTP occurs in two ways, non-associative and associative. Let's take a look at how both occur in the brain, starting with non-associative LTP. This person represents presynaptic neuron X, so the ball represents a neurotransmitter. The basket represents the postsynaptic neuron. The scoreboard shows whether or not the postsynaptic neuron is receiving the message. Presynaptic neuron X does not have a strong connection to this postsynaptic neuron and wants to establish a stronger connection through non-associative LTP. The synapse is being strengthened by the rapid firing of the presynaptic neuron. Another way in which the synapses are being strengthened during learning is through associative LTP. Unlike non-associative, associative LTP involves two neurons firing at the same time to the same post synapse. This is presynaptic neuron A and presynaptic neuron B. A has a strong synapse with the postsynaptic neuron and thus a big EPSP. B has a weak synapse with the postsynapse and therefore a small EPSP. As B's connection with the postsynapse gets stronger, it starts to get a bigger EPSP. This is why presynaptic neuron B starts by shooting tennis balls to reflect her smaller EPSP. As she becomes stronger, she eventually can shoot basketballs, thus earning a full point on the scoreboard. In both non-associative and associative LTP, the postsynapse is strengthened by the amount of neurotransmitter release and the addition of more protein receptors along the postsynaptic surface. Hey there! Welcome to class, thanks for coming. I know it's a Saturday and nobody really comes to class on Saturdays, but rabbit and pop quiz just to, you know, help you all out who did decide to come. So, yeah.